Previously on Game of Thrones. But now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. Last house standing wins. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. What you need more than anything is an ally. I have to get in there, Sarah. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. You owe me for this. You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. Take this traitor away! Damien, where are you? Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him that the North Grove must never be lost. Finn! They're everywhere! We make for the North Grove! Go, Roderick, I know what I'm doing! <sighs> Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Which whisper? I haven't seen any werewolves this far north. The forest of Sigil. Those look like ironwood trees. The North Grove, beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon. The Ice Dragon. That must be it. We're close. I think I found it. You found it? Are you sure? We can't afford to waste any more time. Not with the condition he's in. I found it, Sylvie. Right under the eye of the ice dragon. Just like it says on the map. You hear that? Hey? Eh? It must be close. I hope you're right. I don't know how much further he can go. We need to keep moving. His wound is getting worse. He burns. He burns like all seven L's combined. Listen, Garrett. I know I'm not well. And up here, up here that can get you killed. But you've always been there for me. If anything happens, I want you to leave me. You take Sylvie and don't look back. Promise me, Garrett. I need to know you'll do it. Sylvie would never stand for it. She'd never leave you behind. Which is why it'll have to be you, Garrett. I mean this, Garrett. If I'm gone, Sylvie will need someone to look after her. I know she's stubborn and proud, but she's a good person. You know you can count on me. Thank you, Garrett. I know she can hold her own, but she's still my little sister. What are you doing? I found Nightshade. It's poisonous, but in small doses it can help with pain. It's rare this far north. 
We're lucky to have found it. We can use the nightshade to make Cotter more comfortable. Right. It'll help keep him calm, too. In the right amount. Luckily, I know how to use it. Can you help? See this? Claw marks. Whatever made this must be enormous. Frozen. Must be a fresh kill. Hear the werewoods whisper. the North Grove. Oh, finally. I knew it. I told you it was real. I should have had more faith in you. Fuck. Whoever they are, they can help us. Hurry! Represent House 
Forrester, our squire to Lord Gregor himself. Please, Lady Marjorie, please don't send me back to Highgard. Finally, you grace us with your presence. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. My lady, is there something I can help you with? I'll get to you in a moment. Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen I Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. From Cersei, no less. As if I haven't got enough to worry about. No, my lady. It doesn't sound like something Sarah would do. Is that so? I had no idea. Really? Half the servants in the keep are talking about it, but somehow you're in the dark? <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so flustered. It's just... I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. Tommen's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. I expected better of you. But, uh, Lady Marjorie, I don't know what you mean. Oh, I must have it wrong. It must have been some other handmaiden making a scene with Lord Andros. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please! You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. Sarah says you used her to get you into the party. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Please, Mira. I don't deserve to lose my position for this. I'm begging you to tell her the truth. Sarah, please. Sneaking me into the party was Sarah's idea. Oh, you liar! Lady Marjorie, please! Let her speak. 
She forced me to come with her. Mira! How could you? I trusted you! And you betrayed me! Because it's the truth, Sarah. Lady Marjorie has been good to us. She deserves our honesty. And that's what she's getting from you? You deceitful, treacherous... One day, all of this will catch up to you, Mira. You'll end up with a knife in your back or your head on a spike. And when that day comes, I'll pray to the Seven for your soul. That's enough, Sarah. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. But my lady... I said enough. Get out of my sight before you make things worse. Oh, such a sweet girl when she came to us. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she betray my trust? Perhaps I did something to turn her against me. She lied about her name, about who she was. Her whole life is dishonest. The only wonder is that we didn't see it sooner. Oh, I suppose you're right. For all the trouble you've brought, I'm glad you came to me. I think of you as more than just my handmaiden. You're a friend. An ally, even. You've always been so kind to me. I think of you as a sister. And you'll always have a sister's love from me. Thank you, Lady Marjorie. I have to distance myself from you for a time. What? Why? There are rumors circulating. Stupid lies about you and a murdered Lannister guard. But stupid lies can be dangerous. I can't be associated with this or with you until you put it to rest. I hope you understand. When I'm queen, I can help you again. Maybe we can help each other. Until then, be careful, Mira, and goodbye. Westeros! All we eat is fucking bread! We've passed villages. We should have raided them. You didn't come here to steal from farmers. We didn't come to get ambushed either. But plans change. You can't believe my little brother's gone. All that bloody fool wanted was to come back to Westeros and fight for his family told him it was stupid, that we had a good thing going across the narrow sea. But he did it anyway. All for a family who cast him out. Who banished him to the other side of the world, but begged him to return when they needed him. He might have been an exile, but his name never stopped being Forrester. I doubt a day went by he didn't remember it. Well, maybe you're right. Because there isn't a day goes by that I don't think about getting revenge against the White Hills. I keep expecting to turn my head and see him riding beside me. <laughs> Laughing at the idea that he, of all people, could actually be dead. But then I turn and... It's just you. N no offence. It's just... Not how I expected this would go. Asha died a hero. Him and I, we... 
Used to sneak out of Ironrath and get drunk on mead with the Chandler's daughters. We'd pretend we were great warriors after a battle. He was Simeon Star Eyes. I was Arthur Dane. Yeah, we used to do the same thing, actually. Except it was Valerian Fire Whiskey and the Butcher's Girl. Being a hero, he meant something to him. Oh, I suppose he is a hero now. The idiot. If I do just one more thing in this piss life of mine, it'll be to make those bastards pay. You'll get your chance for revenge. The White Hills have shown their hand. They'll be coming for us now. But first, Roderick has a duty to bear. He needs to tell his mother that she's lost another son. Roderick, where is your brother? The ambush. What happened? No, he... he wouldn't have missed the ship. This may be hard to understand. But Asher gave his life so that I could keep mine. No! Easy, I've got you. Oh, Asher, you brave, foolish boy. Patrick. My lord, they were very fond of Asher. They saw him as one of their own. Asher is dead! Murdered! But mark my words! Right. We will avenge him! Any man, woman or child bearing the name Whitehill will pay the price for his death! And how will you do this? With plows and swine? Asha brought us here to fight, but Asha's dead. What's coming isn't battle, it's slaughter. Not if we put up a good fight. Bah! You think we can't see the difference between strength and weakness? Your people are terrified. <laughs> Your walls are made of wood. What's to stop us taking what we want and leaving this shithole? There is food, gold, weapons. We could make out well here. You promised my brother you'd follow us. You are not your brother. And words are wind. They don't mean shit. They mean what I say they mean. In the North, there's only one penalty for a person who breaks an oath. Tho, he's nothing like Usher. And you're nothing like a real army. Yet you want us to fight like one. What I want is for you to obey your lord. He's not our lord. Show some respect. Doesn't mean shit to oh, me. Oh, fucking hell. I will have order. Or I will have heads. If we fight amongst ourselves, we're dead. If we mistrust each other, we're dead. Either we band together, or Ironrath will be the last place any of us ever see! I bring a message from the Lady Gwyn. Gwyn? Gwyn Whitehill? What does she say? They're on the march. They'll be at our gates by nightfall. We're doomed. We're all done for. I think 
Fucking great. Please remain calm. Please, everybody, look to your lord. Grab whatever weapons you can find. It's time to prepare for battle. He's lying. Look at him. He's a crow. He doesn't represent the foresters. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. All the more reason not to trust you. We need your help. My friend is sick. By the look of him, your friend is going to die. They must teach you nothing at Castle Black. I could have killed you out there. As easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do. So I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? If you'd have us believe it's not a lie. I was given this by Talia Forrester before I left. It's the Forrester sigil. Made from ironwood. Harida East. You trust this crow? That necklace is Forrester Ironwood. No one else could craft it as well. My friend is wounded. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vis. Wait! Where are you taking him? Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? I promised to protect her. A wildling girl? I swore nothing bad would happen to her. I told you we couldn't trust him. My name is Elsera Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? A refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Lord Gregor's last words before he fell were, The North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean? Last words before he fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago, betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know? Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was use some ironwood necklace they gave him. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Otherwise, he would know. Lord Gregor was willing to trust me. If he was, then you can too. He wasn't the best judge of character. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. White. Gregor went Fend and Bjornen. 
This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control these warriors. What about them? Hiftonies! What? No! Let me go! Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. Bring him. I hope he knows how to fight. This place is evil, Garrett. I can feel it. There's something wrong with these people. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready. Aye. Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Uh, Lady Marjorie said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. Anonymously. You mean, someone's plotting against me? How do you know this? My friend does the guardhouse call. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. She'll protect us. Lady Marjorie can't help us. Not now. What? Why not? Oh, she, she just can't. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Don't worry, Tom. We'll figure out who's behind this. We've managed to get this far, haven't we? You're right, Lady Mira, but we ain't faced nothing like this. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate, on Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The coal boy? Take him!
gates are down. Archers at the ready. The foot soldiers are armed, for whatever that's worth. Talia and Elena. In the cellars, where they'll be safe. You should be with them, my lady. And let Lud think that I'm afraid. Roderick Forrester! By order of houses Whitehill, Bolton, and Baratheon, I order you to surrender your keep and present yourself for execution. <laughs> he must be shedding his britches. A coward. Get your men off my land, Whitehill. And I might let you leave with your heart still beating. I can't do that, Roderick. Ramsay Snow said only one of our houses can survive. All that's left to determine is how you will die. Ryan, bring the gift. Uh, no. What's he doing? I brought you something to mount on your wall. Come on, lad. Hold it up so your brother can see. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, you should have seen the rest of him! Or oh, what's left after we fed it to the dogs? Oh, sham him! Does he have no limit? The next pike's for you, Lud! I'll see to it myself. Oh, oh he's beginning to bore me. Ah. Take the gate! This is Duncan's fault. I've been in many sieges, but because of him, the White Hills know our numbers, our defences, the strength of our gate, and they're using Ryan as a human shield. I'd say we have hours, maybe less. Once they break that gate, Ironrath will fall. We need to counterattack. Hit them where it hurts. But how? They'll storm the keep the moment we open the gate. Then we don't go out the gate. Royland. The map. There's a hunting trail that runs through the forest. If a few of us were to slip out the postern gate, we'd end up here, behind Lud's army. Sounds like a plan to me. We hit their camp, kill some White Hills, and maybe get your brother back in the bargain. My lord, I'm all in favour of acting decisively. But if you're caught out there, it's all over. This war, your house, your brother's life. Mira may live, but your mother won't. Antalya? Royland, if you have a better plan, now is the time to share it. I don't, my lord. Well, neither do I. Amaya, this is it. We're going to war. Are you with me or not? We are with you. Only because Asher already paid us. Then we leave this shit cold land. We'll either have won or we'll all be. Ah! Arrows! We need arrows! Royland, I'm trusting you with the defense of Ironrath. They may have greater numbers. But they have none of our fight. You must leave for your own welfare. So you'd cut me loose like some injured horse? Give me a moment. 
Elena, why aren't you inside? Your master wants to send me away. The Glenmores have cousins in the Riverlands. I've stood by you since the beginning, Roderick. If our nights together meant anything to you, tell him I belong here at Ironra. Tell him I make my own choices. My lady, this is foolishness. Call it what you want. When Roderick wins, I want to be here to see it. Elena, you know what happens to women in war. You think I'm naive? That I've made my choices blindly? They're here to kill us, Elena. And worse. I, I don't care. Roderick, we have to go now. May the gods be with you today, Roderick. I'll be waiting. The gate won't hold much longer, even with the reinforcements. Then follow me. Let's end this before they do. She's left the keep! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? Lord Morgren. How lovely to run into you. Mira Forrester! You're coming with us! <coughs> My good sirs, there's no need for that. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate! Quick as you can! What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden, and lost. Andros was just the beginning. I plan to destroy anyone in my way. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. And I plan to take full advantage. <laughs> a bold claim for a handmaiden on the run from the guard. You're clever, Mira. When you face down Andros at the coronation party, well, let's just say you showed how formidable you really are. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. You... you two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. 
After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mera. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. Lud will turn on you the first chance he gets. You're a fool if you don't see that. Who is the fool here? You or I? We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. Lady Marjorie will hear of this. <laughs> She'll have your head! Lady Marjorie will want nothing to do with you, Mira. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. That's why you're here, isn't it? I suppose. Josra would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. It wasn't easy. I had to break my vows to the Night's Watch. We barely made it. Not many survive this far north of the Wall. But you're here. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befastan!
Finn! Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well, for a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. But then, my expectations were low. You fought well yourself. Or at least your bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness. According to her. There's something off about them. I'm not sure what. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. How did you command them? The warriors? I told you. There's a power here. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Vicenir! Did you not hear me? Fulgorn! Sona! <laughs> What? Wait! Fulgorn Vicenir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. There must be something you can do to stop her. She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. 
That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Einrath. To crush our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. like they didn't make it to the block. Oh, no way to get this alight. I wonder if I could use it for something else. Jailer! Please! Shut it! Please come here! Oh, how strong are these bars? Oh, I wonder what she's done. Excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jailer, Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgement to the Father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offence. But we have to keep our heads held high. Even when everything else is taken from us. Ha! I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. Your family needs you. Nothing else matters. I do whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. My lord, please, please take me out of here! Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Oh, no, no. Come on, you! No. Please! Wait! Wait! No! 
off! Get off! Shut me! your fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets, and I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Ironrath, and you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mira. You're in no position to make demands. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home, but you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I need to see him. Is he in there? There's a reason I wanted to talk to you. I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. I will. You can trust me. I'll do the right thing. Thank you, Garrod. He's in so much pain.
I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. What are you doing with that knife? It's meant for you. Me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. You said you'd help him. I wish I could. But I'm afraid it's too late for that now. But you can still use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. <sighs> Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart, his beating heart, and his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. His beating heart! This is madness! Not madness. Necessity. Madness would be letting the North Grove fall. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Gareth. any longer and his suffering use his life to make us strong Garrett give him that poison and his blood will be useless let us use his blood to give us strength I'm sorry but I can't do it Cotter's my friend I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it.
Bulgar and Vicenair. We must burn the body. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. charged with murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to his crimes? My betrothed can speak to them. Is this true, my lady? My lady! Then in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Lady Mira, please! Please! This isn't right! Help me! Come along, Mira. I have a busy day ahead. Too many fucking guards. Keep your heads down. We'll have to find a way to distract them. More guards. Place is crawling with them. Horses hate being tethered during a battle. If we can just get them loose. That must be Lord's tent. Of course he'd take the biggest one for himself. That tower gives a great view over their camp. Enough thinking. Where do you want us? See that lookout tower? It was built in a hurry, probably from light, dry wood. Burn it to the ground. Consider it a pile of ash. Meet here once you've done your part. Good luck, Basilisk. Try not to get yourself dead, Westerosi. Can we rely on them? You can trust them to fight. Beyond that... Come on, let's get this done. Forrester boy. Make sure the little shit can't escape. We can't run if he doesn't have legs. Do what you must. And if anything happens to me, kill him. Yes, father. Bring me my great sword. Fuck. What do we do? No, 
want to make him bleed. Asher deserved better. This might be our only chance. We will kill Lord, and the White Hill army will fall apart. Quick then, before he gets away. Don't get too close. When he's distracted, we strike. Just won this war for me coming here like this. Oh, more White Hills. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Which is fine by me. Makes my life that much easier. Remind me, which one's your good leg? It's over, Lord. I underestimated you, Cripple. But it won't do you any good. My soldiers are already tearing down your gates. They'll kill your mother, your sisters, and Ryan. Griff's cut his throat by now. Well... What are you waiting for? For Asher! The basilisk. We were separated during the fight, right before I took Lud's head. He's dead. Good. I thought Beska would be here. Beska will have to take care of herself. To Iron Rock! have broken through and the rest of their forces may cross the gates at any moment. We need reinforcements at the gates. Have you seen Dolly. Mother? Why aren't you? She? Have you seen Mother? No one knows where she is. die now! <laughs> My lord, your command. Protect our people. Get them away from the battle. Get them to safety! Now this is the war, Asha promised. To Roderick! 
have to get you out of here! Roderick, help me! No! 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 You can't save her, you have to go! You must survive, Roderick. For the house. For all of us. Go! Now! did the right thing. I did what I had to do. He was your friend. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives. Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason. To protect the North Grove. Winter is coming. And we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see House Forrester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. Gregor trusted you for a reason. You know defending House Forrester is the right thing to do. You're the one they sent, Garrett. You should be the one to decide. House Forrester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. House Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? <laughs> A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. 
and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. Then she had the audacity to go behind my back with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. And that day she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened, the gods know what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the godswood. Yet before a day was out, her brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger, and it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff White till beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But then, he jabbed out that fourthborn's eye. He tried to stab me with my own blade. I was rather starting to like him. And then I thought, let's play a game. That's when the fun really started. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rather earnest, I suppose. But he had heart, fighting with a former slave by his side. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But there was no easy answer. But then he told me the truth. He'd risked losing all he had come here for to stand by his friend, a former slave. In the end, that mattered more than disobeying an order. I wish I could have done more for him. Perhaps, if I had, things would have turned out differently. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have nothing. I don't know if Mira ever understood that, Grandmother. I know she told me the truth about Sarah, but she also broke a promise to Sarah to keep a secret. In the end, I respect that she was willing to do whatever it took to get what she wanted. But at what cost? Roderick. I could have told him this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. His brother dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They were clever, I'll give them that, but far too sentimental. <laughs> Ruled by emotion when they should have been smart. Instinctive instead of shrewd. When will these Northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost.
Baltric? My lord. Oh. Ah. Oh. We haven't much time. They may have won this battle, but they will not win the war. <laughs> 